yourself, obviously, you need your artifacts. Um, this is a very generic sheet that we use. It has everything from glass, pottery, metal, and any kind of other items that you could have. Flipware is kind of difficult to tell. Cataloging keeps track of the artifacts you've unearthed, such as what type of objects were found and what level they were found in. Um, as much detail as we can, but sometimes all you can really say is that it's just slipware. This is the part that comes after cleaning. This is when you pretty much take inventory of what it is you have unearthed. Uh, the, the main part is, is just taking amounts and, set, and doing the initial sorting of what it is you found. Like for instance, uh, I have a little bit of redware laid out here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the shot, but there's uh, Here's some slipware, and uh, here's some uh, dark manganese glaze redware, and here is just redware without any glaze on it. Every single artifact you find must wind up. Obviously, we know this is a piece of glass, all right. But we have the glaze. We have it's got beveled edges. It has um, a mold symbol. So we know it's a piece of modern glass. But what it actually came from, we have no idea, all right. So this, it really doesn't fit any of the things that we have. It's not clear, it's not flat, it's not green, it's not brown, it's so not we'd blue. We'd stick it under other? Exactly. All right, so this, all we would do is write gray with glaze. This way it, we know exactly that this is the gray piece with the glaze. You want to put as much detail. Got the artifacts laid out and sorted into like little piles. For instance, the redware that it is we're working with. You want to start tallying them up. Like for instance, I have a few pieces of dark manganese, the simple glaze here, and we want to like write that it's dark, and we want to tally up how many there are. And and once you you want to do that with every type. You want to be conscious redware. of what it is that you're labeling. For instance, it's clear that this is the inside of whatever it is that we found, and this is the outside. And since you want to be able to see what it is you found and where you know where you found it, you want to put the label on the outside of the piece rather than the inside. Where I mean, like you're not going to peek in with a flashlight and try to read the little tiny dot. Once you've got the cataloging and sorting done, you can start piecing the artifacts back together. Nothing. Right. Once the artifacts are cataloged they will be stored according to what level they were found in and with similar types of items. Get it compared. Mm -hmm.